Hello and welcome to another edition of Panzer... No, not Panzer General, Panzer Core Grand Campaign 40 and... We are trying to do the next one, Vassini. So, let's immediately take a look at the breathing. Come in, have a seat, Herr General. I have some interesting intelligence to share with you. With the rap rapid success of your operation so far, the French are becoming more and more disorganized. We have learned that French General Henri Giraud himself is attempting to rally French units to form a defensive line, which presents us with an opportunity to strike directly at him in this vulnerable position. Your objective is to score, scour, I don't know that word, um, I guess it means search, the area for Giro's headquarters, destroy it and occupy the city where it is located and capture the general. To ensure that your price can be properly questioned, you must then escort the general back to your deployment area, specifically the area on your map marked as Capture Zone A. Any information that can be retrieved from Giro and the demoralizing news of his capture outweighs any territorial gains you might acquire here. So keep in mind that capturing and then escorting Giro is your primary objective. As a warning, you should expect the French to feverishly resist your efforts and you will inevi inevitably face a significant counterattack as soon as you gain control of Giro and his stuff. Should this prove too difficult to accomplish, or should something happen to General Giro, you should at least maintain control of four objectives. Good luck, Herr General. I am certain you are up to the task. Yeah, I'm moderately certain. Um, let's see. Capture General Giro by occupying his HQ and then escort him. Yeah, that's fine. We didn't get an SE unit and hi Lieutenant Joker, hi everyone in the chat and yeah I think we'll do reinforcements first we have 9000 prestige so that's quite a lot let's quickly go over our units so yeah for he is, ah oh, that's Olidia, yeah we can give him normal replacements no problem. I think we'll give him one overstrength at least. He will get elite replacements. 196. That will be normal replacements. It's close, but saves us 24 prestige. That's click case of. That's. 53 prestige, but I think I will invest it. Otherwise, those infantry units will get a lot less effective than this tank. Got quite a beating. 59. Let's invest that. Here's defense plus two. High gravity shadow and high tranquility. He's plus two defense, so that should make him a little bit more survivable. Then here we can do normal replacements. This tank, I'm still not sure if I'm going to use. 70 prestige. Yeah, I think. I will need my tanks in, in good condition. So we'll have to go for it. Normal replacements for the scout. Elite for the anti-tank unit, normal for the Panzerjäger, then my artillery is pretty much fine. The 88 will get regular replacements and the fighters regular replacements as well. At least here we can save some money. Stuka, let's upgrade the worth ranks once again. Yeah, and we only invested 300 prestige so far, so it's not too bad. Uh, 
And I'm pretty happy with my new level bomber strategy. We can give them normal replacements all the way, so that's pretty much free. We can use them very aggressively. So that's the base line here. And now let's take a look at the map and then we will decide what to do and maybe more with flanks. We will see about that. But that's always complicated. This is the capture zone A. And as far as I did understand the, the briefing, we don't know where Shiro is, but this are four victory hexes. Here's Vassini. So I'm pretty sure that the general will be hiding in here. Otherwise, um, this would be pretty much pointless. So what we want to do here is take Vassini as late as possible to delay the counterattack, but we can't sure the general is in here. We don't know how quick he is and how long it will take us to go back. So let's not be too tricky and let's not waste time. Other than that, we see a huge foresty area to the north. So this is obviously a defensive line we are going to form here, not going to try to take the forest. Don't think that's a good idea. Then we have airfields, two airfields here, one airfield, another airfield too. Once we are in our defensive position, um, we won't have a forward airfield. That's good to know. And there's a river we can use to our defense here. So having control over those, this area in the south actually could be beneficial just to poke ahead a little bit. The Pokash here is a nightmare so we can stage our defense later on, but there are a lot of bridges in the area and it could be very beneficial for us to have control over this area. Let's see if we can pull that off. So it's pretty obvious we'll send a force to hold here. Main push to the center through va towards Vassini and then we will see what we can achieve in the north to port the attack on this very important region here. There's even an airfield in here. Yeah, I think that's about it. And more importantly, there's a rail line here. So this could be a convenient way to retreat the general later. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about that. Let's see. Deployment. This is too complicated to move, so we'll try to take the bridge early on. Let's start with deploying our artillery. Not going to put it to the front, because then I'm blocked from attacking if they have the bridge. But I will put one here, one here, and the big gun will deploy to the south. Well, maybe we'll go a little bit to the front. Um, this way we have two shots available to attack Ter Tertree, and we have some firepower to the north as well. We are flexible this way. Then all of the year. I think I will use him to quickly gain control of the north. And then help with the push. We'll have to integrate one of the eighth one infantry unit now because we lost one. And sorry, this is going to take a little while because yeah, and I don't know the maps and we'll definitely put down all of our fighters. Just because we don't know how strong the enemy air force will be. We we'll definitely will 
want to have a Stuka ready, being able to fight in the more open south. We'll probably want two level bombers and we might even want Helmut Land, but we might put pull off some of the Air Force because we might high Anton because we might need more units on the ground actually. But we'll see about that. So Scout to the front, scout tank, that's you, that way we gain a lot of flexibility, the strongest tank, I think let's put him to the front. We can always send him upwards, but for now I want to have strong forces to the south. Or maybe let's actually switch. This way it's more balanced. I have now one strong tank on each side. Anti-tank cannon. We'll definitely put one down. BX Jäger might be helpful in the north. Yeah, we'll have to take out this thing. There might be something. No, there can't be something in the trenches here. That's two, three infantry units. Then we'll take one of those units. I forgot how to rename them, actually. A Lieutenant Jugger, do you know the hotkey for rena renaming the units? I absolutely forgot that. We'll keep, bring one of you to the front. Be ready with the 88 and we can put down one more unit. So that will be the infantry unit. So that's perfect. So we'll put him down anyways. Hi Luxembourg, so now I think we are in a perfect layout here. And I don't want to bring my heavy infantry because it's slow. And yeah, Alt N, let's do it right away because otherwise I'm going to forget it. Forget it. So that's 10th. Panzer Division, 5th Infantry. Yeah, I hope he will have more luck than his predecessor. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. So, that's it. Everything deployed. I think we are very heavy in the air. But that gives us flexibility. And otherwise, now this is the first time I think we are completely deployed. So our complete 10th Panzer Division, including all support units and all the airplanes, except those two are down. So let's go into it and see what's going to happen. Whew. So a little bit nervous because yeah, maps like that always scare me a little bit 
because they are very gimmicky and it helps a lot if you knew what's going to happen. But let's not waste time. We are 15 minutes in. That's good. Should have used a scout tank, tank to the south, by the way. So, let's see. Yeah, I can't bring more artillery, Luxembourg. As long as the 8th Panzer Division is not involved, we are not allowed a 4th artillery piece. That's the tricky part. <laughs> so, definitely, this anti-tank cannon has to go down. But first, I want information. Scout. We might want to get rid of it immediately. Good start. Now the way is clear. Should have put them the other way around. I'm noticing a lot of things that are not optimal with the layout. But we could demolish him. But I'm worried about things that could be on the side. So we'll not tackle them at the moment. Well, rather try to get rid of them. The old fashioned way. So this could be useful. He can't do much. He is not too entrenched, so I think we can get him out of here and we'll definitely use the air force to clear him. Should have used it the other way around. A lot of things that are not going exactly optimal at the moment. And we still need units to protect me here. So, level bomber. At least it's suppressed. Yeah. Let's see. It will be helpful to have air defenses ready, so I'm not going to attack here. Can't bring defensive artillery forward anyways. And since I have no units ready to scout, that's my mistake here. There could be a force back here, so I'm not entirely sure if we should go in. But the scout definitely has to go down. Get more information. Pull forward the scout tank. Well, 
will send all the deer in to remove the threat of this anti-tank cannon has vision range of two that's rather unfortunate but it seems safe enough to the front so we'll stay as is this is a possible trap location there seem to be only rather weak tanks so that should be fine he has now three stars so it won't be that easy to destroy at least that's what i'm hoping We already know this is something we want to do. Don't think they they will go for it. And here I'm still not decided. And I think we'll form just a defensive line around here. This will provide another trap opportunity. Make sure we deny them vision in the back. Here we might be able to trap something else and this fighter let's make sure to take down the with drags so that's fine i think we made good progress now let's test the waters and see how aggressive the enemy actually is is Trap worked. Kind of. Good. That wasn't too bad. And the 88 is in position. That's a bonus. Um. This job B, good thing we went for the defense, but this is an ideal surrender target now. If we can get him out of the way and I can lock down its retreat path. So, but they definitely are in the mood for playing aggressively here. This is the more dangerous unit. Air attack. 12. No, what? I can't read it that way. It's for me much easier for me like that. Yeah, he's a lot more expensive. So, let's see. Obviously, we'll try to suppress him. That didn't work out. <laughs> but the big artillery piece might get something done. Nope, one suppression. <laughs> oh god, that's not good. But we can put him on lockdown he won't be able to do much but trying to force a surrender on him didn't work out too great so what we will do instead let's see trying to decimate the air force Attack on the 88, not bad. Mm -hmm. 
I will try and start with the things I know I will go to do. I know I'm going to do. So this will help reducing the complexity of the turns. Nothing here. So at least we are not getting shot in the back. I'm not sure if I want to attack here. This situation here is worrying to say the least but he might go onto the hill to attack this weaker tank and in the meantime I might be able to take out him Being here without artillery protection is worrying. But on the other hand, having artillery here. The infantry here that this without artillery protection is worrying as well. So I much rather go on to the hill, block their movement. And I might even Put defensing artillery up here. We'll see about that. I don't want to get outflanked. We'll keep ourselves in defensive mode here. But then we'll try to swarm the enemy fighters. Yeah, we'll take damage here no matter what. And we can't destroy all of them, so... I rather destroy the strongest enemy fighter. Try to do some damage here. Ah, we actually could have destroyed them. But this is a strategic bomber that's not too dangerous in the hands of the enemy actually so let's take a look protect ourselves and there's not more coming forward in the back so that's good we are defended so we don't need to worry here and we might be able to block his retreat path but I'm not not sure how we should do it so we'll not do it at the moment Yeah, this situation in the center. I obviously want to get rid of those tanks. But at the same time, I don't want to go close to this anti-tank cannon. So...
I think I will try to block the way. And... Secure my position. Maybe a miracle happens. Not quite, but actually. That might be worth it, because now it's a lot less dangerous. And we can't block him in that way. We'll move up. Ready to attack next turn. So... Now this... I think we'll just stay here. Poke a little. So there's no additional forces in the background. And how do we try and block you? I think he will... No, I don't think it's possible. Let's refuel. That's the safest option. Other than that, I think we are ready. High game on. But it's not like we are in a safe position attacking here. They are absolutely threatening. And it's not sure who's on the attack here, actually. But let's end the turn. I think we are done. Good. Samua is walking right into my Stuka, I think. Because I don't think we'll need him. But let's once again try to force a surrender here. Or do we? Yeah, now he's completely suppressed. Whew, but is it worth it? I'm not sure. That's four damage, four damage, so not much difference. Wow! Helmut Land, you are the greatest hero of all time. Let's make short work. I'm just thinking about how I can most effectively do this because I actually do want to have my artillery back to the center, but it's very convenient to move it right here. We might be able to support, support the attack to the south. So for now, let's go for it this way. Give our units something to do. He is now completely boxed in. Okay. 
yeah, 30 prestige, I think, around that, so that's totally worth it. Let's not be overly aggressive here. We already know they are very willing to counter attack. So I will set myself up just like that. And maybe that already dealt with the threat in the south. But we can't be sure about it. So, next up, we'll have to get rid of this artillery. We have to check for threats in the back. So I think that's a job for the level bomber. I'm prepared to aggressively exploit it. Or expressive, excessively exploit its usage. So. Then I think. We can put forward one of our fighters. One, two, three, four. But I don't want to move him that far. Well, he is a problem, but will he be on hold position? Vision range of one actually, so you can't see me. If we manage to destroy this thing, which we don't. But now at least the way is blocked, so that might work in our favor. Well, we still don't know what's back there, so we might run into a bad surprise. But we are making extreme progress here so far. I don't think we need to be that quick, actually. So this turn we assume Now ah, let's take a look Nothing in here, that's good so I think those two will be ready to take him on Here we are perfectly defended I think I want more power in the center. I want my infantry up close. This is all protected, that's good. This is protected. So just in case and refuel just because we now have a perfect opportunity. There's one unit we can still move, but I'm not too sure about him. I don't want 
to expose myself and we have I'm not sure if we want to advance in this bocage actually. And we are very light on infantry in the center. So let's redistribute here. So that's it. Let's end the turn. And more tanks. They are not giving up so Helmut land do your job kind of let's see who guess a little bit of help yeah. we can deal with the next turn. This is a tank force that's completely on its own, so not too worried about it. But we know that the level bomber might retreat this turn. Yeah, the pioneer would be extremely helpful here. So let's dig them out. He is now still able to move. We can go and defend something. We'll move him into the forest. Hopefully get rid of him. Maybe I'll use one more fighter to poke into him. It is a little bit out of range. What's the hero on you? Attack. Yeah, I need a scout down there. That's obvious. So we have now reached our defensive position. That's the first part. Holding this line. Let's take a look at the strategic map. We have this we kind of control. So we have four victory hexes under control. Now we just have to find Shiro. That's we assume he is in Vassini, so still quite a lot of distance we have to go. I think for now, I just want to stabilize my situation.
take a closer look and one plane is enough to guard them especially because they are not in vision range doesn't seem like there's more going on so I'll actually commit one fighter yeah it didn't help couldn't prevent damage but it's still I think the best choice Then we'll give you a break. Guard everything and... I think in the Bocage we are rather safe. So we can move up, but I don't want to be too quick because there could be more tanks and they will absolutely destroy me. But blocking the bridge might be good, but then we'll get in vision range. And now I don't have a fighter ready. I, actually, I do. So maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Nothing here. Gamble worked out. Guard myself. And the next attack seems to be in the center. Yeah, the Pukash, they can't move too quick. Maybe we can take out th the southern city. We'll just stay here and end the turn. Perfect. So, letting get that bomb away didn't hurt us in the end. It's cloudy weather, so... We made them waste their prestige I think we'll want to help out Uladir as much as possible yeah. Should have brought support. But oh well. That's not nah, let's not be overcommitting here because we don't see what's going on. We need more information. And we want to be ready to trigger the next attack here. And ideally, I would like to go like that, push him in the forest and finish him off. But uh, the problem is if there's an infantry unit, it will stop me in the forest and I'm completely screwed. Yeah, we can't hit anything anyways. I 
hoped to destroy him in one go. But didn't manage to do so. But now I think we can outright destroy the small tank. From the north we are secure. And here we are not quite ready to take them on. But now our scout is on the road again so we can do more scouting and poking. And we'll definitely want to trap those. Or shoot them down from the air. But for that, we need more forces to the center. We'll take a look, that's not too scary. Our air force will be replenished next turn. So this seems to be only a minor target. But nevertheless, we might want to attack it. Seems pretty safe here. The scout, yeah. I don't think they see us, so I don't think we triggered them. Let's end the turn. Yeah, that's good. And now the question is, how do we get rid of this very annoying unit? So no air defenses, it seems. That's good to know. Let's see. Can't protect ourselves here easily. So, having an additional airfield in range would help a lot. Yeah, we know there's an anti aircraft unit down here, but we suspect it as much. The real question is he. Attacking here doesn't do us any good, so... We might as well grab the ammo now. Take a look and good thing we scouted. So this is a considerable force. We must not underestimate them, but at the same time, those are more are scary because they have one star of experience. This Renault does not. And we can block the bridge. This will nullify this threat. And we still have to go forward. 
But we could trap them. It's very likely that they will bump into us if we offer them the opportunity. Well, taking them out removes a threat in the back. Let's give the must attack bonus. Worked well enough. And we are not ready to attack here. So we'll stay as is for now. And it's very likely the enemy air force will come back rather sooner than later. And I think I will simply block the bridge here. They might do something stupid. This offers us an opportunity to trap them. Um, this is a more... I don't want to get outflanked, but I don't think they can hit me here. And this might trap them actually. But maybe we can take off some of the strength points. Now he's a little less scary. And I want to be ready to take control of the bridges. Make sure we can trap them if need be. We should be out of vision range here. We are out of vision range here. We can attempt to trap them here. And just to be safe, let's protect those. So now everything should be <laughs> kind of under control. Next turn, we can go forward and attack them if need be. We are only on turn 6 out of 20, so we are not in a rush, actually. He... Yeah, I do want to have this airfield, actually. 
but first we have to see if there's a counter attack in the air and what those units are going to do then we can control the threat dash forward take out the city hopefully destroy the anti-aircraft cannon back here and then we are fine yeah that's at least the plan let's see how it works out nothing <laughs> that's disappointing so let's see Fortunately, we have to supply. Couldn't take out the tank. But now it's less likely that they are going to attack. So if they don't want to move, we can move. Let's see. Nothing, nothing in range, so... Let's hope. Yeah, if, if he reinforces as well, so be it. But I'm expecting a massive counter attack here, so we'll have to pull more forces back. That's not a situation we can sustain. We know there's a tank here. We can force him onto the river. Where we can hopefully do more damage, but this anti tank cannon really is a pain. Yeah, I'm not sure about the situation. Sooner or later we'll have to push. We'll block all the bridges here. And yeah, I really want to be in control of this junctions here, but at the same time, I want more anti-tank capability in the north. This could do massive damage. But I want to want him to stay on the river actually.
The will need infantry to deal with them. One, two, three. I'm not in range. Yeah, this swampy area here is a pain. I would love to have more information about what's going on here because we know there are strong forces in here. So. Yeah, I kind of don't know what to do at the moment. So I think it's time for a break, but. I think all the deer will, will simply lap and trench in here. We'll try to hold the bridge for as long as possible. And those that won't seem that they want to attack at the moment. So let's take a look around here. Actually, we are in the clear. This airfield is almost in range. But I need more time. I definitely need more time. So let's go out of vision range again. Um, this is pretty secure. We can take it next turn. I need to stay protected here. So I can't move in here. Now. I hope my air force will do more damage next turn. that was not very impressive. Make sure I'm not getting demolished around here. Move up a little bit so I can try, at least try to outflank them. This is just defensive, but now we are in vision range, so risk of an airstrike will move back. That will more over allow us to I think attack into them. We will really have to overwhelm them in the center here. I think that's key. Yeah, like that. That's more protection. All the deer will dig in. Those will resupply. And this airfield we need to have. And we might attack Vasini from the north rather. Because that gives us the opportunity to grab the airfield. Anyways, time for the first break, I think. Thanks for watching. It's a tense, very tough scenario, but I like the way it plays out so far. I think we were pretty aggressive, so I'm not worried about time at the moment but that that could change quickly if we don't manage to push 
through those Samoa tanks. So I think we'll need all the support we have just to destroy them, then take on Vassini. And if we don't manage to capture the general, well, so be it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. See you in a few minutes. I will make a short break just to get my concentration back up. And yeah, then we'll continue. Bye.